Welcome Climate Viewers, Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Would you know the difference between regular speak and slave speak? I seriously doubt it. Slave speak is language that maintains the master-slave relationship. And many people use it. They use language as a tool to control. I hope that you will go to climateviewer.com and read The Anatomy of Slave Speak. It's an eye opener. Um, basically, chemtrails is a word that is used to control. It is a word that is used to cause fear, and fear is a way to control. I am very sick of the slave speakers. I am sick of those who seek to control people through the use of language and fear. Therefore, I have created three amazing websites, climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com with the express purpose of dispelling fear and breaking that control. If you go around and you say chemtrails to a scientist, the first thing they're going to do is look at you, laugh at you, and leave you alone. If you say the sky is being geoengineered, they're going to look at you, laugh at you, and leave you alone. The purpose of slave speak is to control the discussion. And there are many who would you know, control the discussion by using words like propaganda. He's a controlled agent, a shill. Most of us should be smart enough by now to know the difference, to know that it's upon each of us to look at the material presented and judge it ourselves. So I hope that when you're out there on the internet and you're reading some of this material and you're listening to slave speakers that you will be able to see through the jargon and understand that language is a is a control tool and that those who use a whole lot of high-level descriptors, a whole lot of what if and what do you think and just a bunch of bullshit, that you would take it upon yourselves to get a little education. Slave speak is pure evil, and those who use a lot of it typically are trying to confuse and use you. You must lie to a person in order to control them. Technique 88, L. Ron Hubbard. I suggest that you note when people are using a lot of high level descriptors. I'll give you an example. A low level descriptor is something like apple, orange, Watermelon, water, fire. We all know what these words mean. We all pretty much would have no argument about what an orange is or an apple. Now, when I say things like God, good, evil, chemtrails, these are words that mean different things to different people. These are slave speak words. These are high level descriptors. Government. These words are highly argumentative. They have um, implied meaning. So anybody who uses a lot of high level descriptors leaves the discussion open for a lot of interpretation. That's why whenever you watch my videos, you will note that I do not use these words very often, and I try to be as specific as possible. 
I make myself clear and I leave as little room for interpretation as possible. However, the fear porn industry and the infotainers from YouTube and Facebook and all of these other social, anti-social medias, they like to use these words often as possible because it leaves as much room for interpretation as possible, which gives them as much leeway as possible. These individuals also do not like to debate because debate would render their slave speak useless. Cirrus clouds matter. Whether you call it a chemtrail, whether you call it a contrail, or a persistent contrail, at the end of the day, end of the day what you're left with is a cirrus cloud. Whether you believe they're made by pipes, pumps, special equipment, whether you know the facts about jet fuel loaded with soot, and the soot is loaded with metal, and the metal makes clouds. Whether you know about ship tracks and how the ships are filled with sulfur, and the sulfur makes the soot, and the soot makes the clouds. Whether you just call them clouds, aerosol precursors, any of this terminology, the words you use matter because I've had enough. I've had enough of the slave speak. I've had enough of the bullshit and enough of the fear porn control. I think that it is on each of us to demand that when someone uses a word that you do not understand, that it is your job to say, please explain to me what the fuck you're talking about. Because when you leave room for interpretation, you leave room for confusion. And that's why we are in such a screwed up situation we're in now. So I hope that you guys will read The Anatomy of Slave Speed. It is available on climateviewer.com. And when you do, you will be better armed to tell the difference between high level and low level descriptors. You'll be able to read through the bullshit online. It'll make you an excellent bullshit detector. It's a very simple process. And once you learn this information, it's going to make you a better researcher. It's going to make you better at understanding where the truth begins and the bullshit ends. So, guys, understand that... These words, they get thrown around a lot. Geoengineering, solar radiation management, stratospheric aerosol injection, chemtrails, contrails, persistent contrails, contrail-induced cirrus, aviation-induced cloudiness. Everybody wants to give it a different term. And the whole purpose of all of this is to keep, to keep us all under control, to control the narrative. Whether I, whether I, I personally, I call them plain farts, just so that I can mock the whole process. But at the end of the day, for me, chemtrails, contrails, persistent contrails, contrail and do serious, they are all the same thing. This is not hard to understand. When planes make clouds, when boats make clouds, cloud being the lowest level descriptor, Nobody can argue with you. But go try it out. Go talk to your congressman. Tell them about chemtrails. They're going to look you in the face. They're going to laugh and you're going to leave. But if you look at them and you say, I'm very sick of planes making clouds. You don't have to be a scientist to understand what a cloud is. And you certainly don't have to be an expert in the field. Geoengineering stratospheric aerosol injection and try to play scientist they're going to shoot you down they're going to shoot holes in your story and you certainly aren't going to be able to handle them the way I can I have seven years of research in this subject I understand what each of these terms mean implicitly 
I will gladly debate it with any scientist, meteorologist, have and won every single debate that I've been in. I have personally challenged people like Russ Tanner, Dane Wigington, Matt Landman, and many more. I had challenged all of Kaku. Chemtrails are killing us. The largest gang stalking crew on Facebook to debate. They will not. The reason why is because you cannot slave speak me. I hope that you guys will read The Anatomy of Slave Speak. I hope that that will better arm you to understand when you're being manipulated. And I hope that you will choose your words wisely when trying to educate others because it's important that you are understood. The sign of true intelligence is to speak to a person on their level and be understood. How could you be understood when you're constantly making up your own words? So, since the dawn of time, that's exactly what man has done. There have been individuals who say, only I can read this book and through me you shall find absolution. And that is how slave speak works. It maintains the master-slave relationship because the master understands the words and through him you shall be absolved of all your sins and you shall understand. I try not to use slave speak. I hope that you will not also. I hope that whenever you're talking about planes and ships making clouds, you can just call them that. Planes and clouds. For me personally, I have not seen a pipe or pump that I could not, you know, identify as what it was. This is a pollution problem. And when we come together on that, we will change the world. Love you mean it. Jim Lee, climateviewer.com. Attack ideas, not people. And you cannot fight an enemy who has outposts in your head. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.